Hey guys, this is Patrick from STH. Today, we're gonna to take two AMD EPIC 7742 processors, which each have 64 cores and 128 threads, and we're gonna run them on Cinebench R15 and Cinebench R20, and we're gonna get some pretty big numbers. And of course, you know, running Cinebench on this level of CPU is insane. It really shouldn't be done, and it's pretty much not a really worthwhile benchmark, but we did it anyway just because we have the series going. So as you're gonna see, Cinebench R15 actually gets over 10,000 pretty easily. We actually had a run that did exactly 10,000 and these runs complete in a matter of seconds. That's important because the CPUs don't downclock to their base frequencies that fast. So you tend to get a little bit higher results than you would normally. You also get pretty inconsistent results. So we did get an 11,080 Cinebench score but that's not the highest that we've ever got. So it turns out that when we did our quad Intel Xeon Platinum 8180 system, we actually got over 11,500. So we're gonna show you a quick snippet from our Crushing Cinebench version 4.5 video where we got 11,584. But one of the things that we saw when we did that was we got really inconsistent scores because Cinebench just can't handle that many threads that well on the R15 version. So in March, 2019, we got Cinebench R20 and that's supposed to make it so that the runs last longer and CPUs aren't able to stay at their max frequencies. And so we saw one thing that happened quite often, which is that we got the same score on the setup with Cinebench R20, which is 31619. And we saw that once when we were setting up, we saw it again, not too long after that. And you're gonna notice that as we kind of run through these, even the Cinebench R20 runs are pretty darn fast. We saw it not just two times, by the way, that 31619, we actually saw it a third time, which made it the mode in our testing. And it's just a result that we got over and over again. Although getting over 30,000 was pretty much all the time, 31, 619 only happened a few times. And then as we were kind of getting ready to do this video, we somehow managed to get 31833, which we couldn't reproduce, but we got it one time on the platform just the next day. And a lot of that is actually the Cinebench R20 world record right now, which is pretty darn good. Thanks for watching. You can check out more from our awesome STH team on the STH main site. We have other videos on YouTube and you can always subscribe to our channel and see whatever is coming out next.